what do you think your brother would think of this new album? Question I've asked myself many times. In, in all honesty, uh, the honest answer is, I think my brother would be amazed that we're even still going. Hey, it's your girl, Emily Curl with iHeartRadio. And today we're joined by Dan from Architects. Dan, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. I'm very well, thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Of course. To kick us off, how is life? What have you been up to lately? I mean, day to day, obviously, you know, touring's still not quite on the cards. So we, I'm just being a dad and working on music. Simply put, that's it, doing some house renovations, doing domestic stuff. But no, I mean, I, I don't have any great complaints, to be honest. Um, obviously, been a difficult year for a lot of people, but uh, I'm one of the lucky ones in many senses. Well, let's talk about new music. Architects released your ninth studio album. Congratulations for those that wish to exist. Tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind it. Well, there was a lot of things, I, I suppose, um, becoming a father uh, a couple of years ago kind of reframed the way I see the world a little bit, a little bit more aware of, of where we were headed, I suppose, and uh, sort of the state of the world, the environment, all these things are, you know, they're on people's minds to, to varying degrees, but we, we struggle to engage in them, I suppose. And, and I really felt that as well. We we're all aware that, you know, we all hold some level of responsibility in, in trying to turn things around, if you like. Um, and I was just sort of started examining why it was that, you know, I didn't do more, you know, I'm obviously there's nothing more important to me than uh, leaving a world that is inhabitable uh, for, for my daughter and her kids and generations and found that, um, you know, I, I still just wanted to sit on the sofa and watch Netflix at the end of the day. I wasn't, ex I wasn't, you know, out on the front line trying to make the, you know, do things and make things happen. And um, rather than sort of berating people, normal people for not doing things, sort of asking us all, uh, you know, asking that universal question like, oh, you know, why aren't we more engaged in this and, and why can't we do more? And I sort of started to think about mental health and those kind of things, you know, it's very hard to think about saving the world when you know getting through the day can be difficult for for many people so yeah a, a, an album with not many answers but i just was sort of examining some of those themes and asking myself some of those questions i'm curious for you what went into the you know the writing and creating of it knowing that you wanted to get that message across to be honest it took a while for the for the messaging of the album or the themes of the album to reveal themselves to me in in a kind of way there is some diversity in there, but that that what I just explained was kind of the common thread, I think, that, that runs through the whole record. We really start with the music. Occasionally I have some some little lyric ideas or some concepts that I want to explore, but I tend to hear the music and see what just what appears and, and what what arises for me when I hear the music. You know, it's, it's not the kind of music that I can <laughs> write super upbeat. <laughs> stuff about uh it's fairly dark and you know, it, it would be not suitable for me to write songs about you know how much i love my wife or daughter or things like this it, they would just be uh horrendously mismatched whenever we're writing it takes me to you know thinking about the, the most troubling things that are floating around my mind in a weird way the fact that i'm writing about those things about about the world shows that actually in my personal day-to-day -day life i have i ha i'm quite privileged and lucky and you know I, I don't have great trauma or or distress in in my direct day-to-day -day life which I suppose means even more so that it's down to people like me to try and do something and maybe me just writing this album is my way of, of doing that in a small way and now this album comes after a really emotional personal and incredible album holy hell how did the process change of the creation of that one to this new one the circumstances for that album for those that don't know are that our guitarist and, and my brother uh, died uh, of cancer and we were kind of left wondering what on earth we were going to do you know he, he wrote our songs and wrote the lyrics and he was the key component to the, to the creative process and we asked Josh to join our band and then it was about trying to re-establish a creative process and and to, to try and work that out and you know that's still developing although it's more sort of stable now but holy hell was definitely still about trying to figure that out we didn't 
make any sort of brave creative choices we were kind of just trying to stabilize make sure we could do what we do and we didn't it didn't feel like a moment where we had necessarily the the confidence to to sort of break new barriers creatively we just wanted to try and you know keep something fairly familiar but in terms of lyrically i mean at that point there was nothing else i could write about that was the most um pressing thing in my life when you know when you someone close to you like that it's uh, it, there is nothing else you know so i was fortunate though that i had that you know i had that that platform to try and work through that experience and try and work through that trauma and i'm really lucky in that sense because you know i i think a lot of people are really lost in that situation although i was to a degree i, I see even in my own family you know who are in a very similar situation to me in that moment perhaps not uh, not having the benefits of that kind of vehicle to exercise those those feelings and thoughts and all of it so I, it, it was really really useful to me but on this album i think after we finished holy hell we felt like okay it's in, i think it's healthy for all of us to, to look forward and think about the future and yeah like really spread our wings with confidence and belief and not worry about what people expected of us but just to um yeah, dive in head first, explore where you want to go. It was very fresh. What do you think your brother would think of this new album? Question I've asked myself many times. In, in all honesty, uh, the honest answer is, I think my brother would be amazed that we're even still going. I'm very proud of us that we've, that we've managed to keep going and keep growing and, and, and the band is doing better than ever. So it, yeah, I would love to know what Tom thinks. Um, um, yeah, maybe I'll find out somehow one day. <laughs> Definitely. Now, if your audience could take away, you know, one big message from the album, what would that be? That we need to do something and we all need to take responsibility. There's no simple messaging like, because I don't want people to, I don't want it to be preachy. Uh, and I don't want it to seem like I really have any answers, you know, I'm just a normal person trying to figure it all out too. But I, I think that we all need to talk honestly about how we feel and what we want. One of the reasons we're struggling to get to grips with what's happening in the world is because we're having a hard time, you know? We, we don't really know how to process a lot of what we're going through. Um, we don't know how to process a lot of what we went through in our childhood, you know? We can have the best parents in the world and no one comes through childhood unscathed. You know, it's a complex thing being a human being and growing up. But I think that our, maybe in our culture and in the West, we've kind of maybe lost a sense of how to work through that stuff and how to emerge from the, you know, the challenges in our lives and to grow from them. And we can sort of all learn how to process the, the difficult experience. And that's, that's a complex conversation, which is probably why we're not having it, but we can learn how to do that. And I think it would be very empowering for all of us and very liberating and free up a lot of energy in us to, to do a lot of good in the world. Now, as a dad yourself and as a parent, what is the one thing that you really hope that you pass down? It's going to say it's probably such a generic answer, but it's to, it's to believe in yourself. I would want her to believe in herself. You know, like that's something that you hear and it's kind of thrown around a little bit. But after I lost my brother, I, I really started to take that on in a, in a much more profound way. And, um, you know, I don't think we could have survived as a band and kept going and released the last two records without believing in ourselves truly and it, it does you, i don't think you can fake it i think it needs to be something you work on and you really need to embody it and i mean if you if you're a parent i don't think there's anything more powerful you can instill in your child than the idea that they they truly can achieve anything they want to achieve as long as they genuinely commit the energy and the time if the, you know if we can instill that in all our kids it's it's only going to be you know, a good thing for the world because there's nothing worse, I think, for a human being than to feel disempowered. I think we all need to start believing that we have that power in our hands. Dan, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations on the new album to you and Architects. And hopefully next time we see you, it's in real life. Maybe at a festival, maybe in our iHeart Studios. Either one, we'll take. Me too. Me too. Thanks so much for watching our interview with Dan from Architects. Make sure you stream their new album for those that wish to exist out now on iHeartRadio. And we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.